crowd obviously very frustrated, very disappointed at the moment. Some have said, oh, they don't care, they're not bothered. I'm sure you would uh, refute that straight away. Uh, absolutely, yeah. That's, that couldn't be further from the truth, uh, especially for myself and the rest of the lads in the dressing room. That's, that's not the case at all. It's frustrating for us as well. Obviously, we want to win every game just as much as the fans do, but uh, it's, uh, it doesn't work like that in football. You can't, you can't be winning every week. I know we should be higher up the table. We all accept that. Yeah. And at times, uh, the team's not performed as we'd like or as the fans would expect. Uh, and as we'd expect of ourselves, but um, we're all we're all trying, and we all want to get promoted. So that, that's all I can say on that. The manager said you've had a, you've had a good meeting, both as a group and individually. How helpful is that to do that sometimes? Uh, it's it's very helpful. I think if you sort of let things stagnate or don't discuss uh, previous performances, you can't improve. You've got to look at the negatives, look at the positives from from games, and uh, see where you can improve. And that, that's the main thing. You've got to constantly look for bits to improve on and take them forward into the next game. So the next game you might get that right. It could be one cross, one tackle, something that could turn a game on its head. So uh, I think they're very important to communicate between player and manager.